welcome back this integral seems to be very lengthy as well as more complicated look at here we have sin 2x over here multiple of 2 we have multiple of 2 over here here also here also this multiple of 2 will expand by using sin of 2x we have sin of twice x equals to 2 sin x into cos x is equals to 0 to pi sin 2x is 2 sin of x into cos x sin 3x we cannot reduce it sin 3x sin of 5x here we can reduce it is 2 into 15 so 2 sin 15x cos 15x upon sin of x into here 2 into 3 2 sin 3x cos of 3x here 2 sin 2 into 5 5x cos 5x into sin 15x so these two 2 into 2 4 okay 2 into 2 4 this gets cancelled sin x sin x gets cancelled and then sin 3x and sin 3x gets cancelled sin 5x sin 5x gets cancelled sin 15x sin 15x gets cancelled and what do we have okay so we have is integral 0 to pi cos of x this is whole square cos of x upon we have cos of 3x cos of 3x into cos of 15x upon cos of 5x the whole square okay. remember what is cos 3x okay let's try to break angles so all angles okay so cos of 3x equals to 4 cos cube x minus 3 3 cos x okay i want cos 3x upon x so if i divide uh, cos x on both sides th therefore cos x upon this upon cos x equals to here 4 cos square x minus 3 okay so what is cos square x is 1 plus cos of 2x upon 2 minus 3 so if you cancel this 2 we have here i will get 2 cos of 2x here 2 minus 3 is minus 1 okay therefore instead of cos 3x upon x i can write like this okay so is equals to i can write 0 to pi so cos 3x upon this means this will go in denominator okay so i will write like this 2 cos of 2x minus 1 the same way you will get here 2 cos of cos of 10x minus 1 the whole square okay we have cos of x equals to e raised to i x plus e raised to minus i x upon 2 okay so that 2 i can write over here 2 cos x is this okay i need 2 cos 2x therefore 2 cos of 2x is equals to e raised to 2 i x plus e raised to minus 2 i x okay what about this also this also what about 2 cos of 10 x is e raised to 10 i x plus e raised to minus 10 i x let's consider t equals to e raised to i x okay then then e raised to minus i x will be t raised to minus 1 okay so here this is equals to t square plus t raised to minus 2 okay similarly here also this will be equals to t raised to 10 plus t raised to minus 10 is equals to 0 to 0 to pi t raised to 10 plus t raised to minus 10 minus 1 upon t raised to 2 plus t raised to minus 2 minus 1 raised to square now let's consider only this part now consider 2 cos 10x minus 1 upon 2 
cos 2x minus 1 is equals to this will come what t raised to 10 plus t raised to minus 10 minus 1 upon t raised to 2 plus t raised to minus 2 minus 1 plus 1 minus t raised to 10 upon by here 1 upon t raised to 10 is there. So, here t raised to 4 plus 1 minus t raised to 2 upon t raised to square. So, now here t raised to 10 is there, t raised to square is there. So, I can write 1 upon t raised to 8 and then what we have t raised to 20 minus t raised to 10 plus 1 upon t raised to 4 minus t square plus 1. You can, you can do this by division methods, but they will be very lengthy. So, I will use Wolfe's formula. Okay. By Wolfe's formula, what we have is equals to 1 by t raised to 8. What we will have here t raised to 16 plus t raised to 14 minus t raised to 10 minus t raised to 8 minus t raised to 6 plus t square plus 1 okay now let's divide okay is same as t raised to 8 plus t raised to minus 8 this minus 1 i will try it first minus 1 plus t raised to 8 plus t raised to minus 8 and then plus t raised to 6 plus t raised to minus 6 I will take minus common okay so here t raised to 2 plus t raised to minus 2 now remember what is t okay t was e raised to i x okay therefore this equals to minus 1 plus this will be 2 cos of 8 x plus this will be 2 cos of 6 x minus 2 cos of 2 x okay now this is what only this one okay so this is this now we have the square okay outside so we need to do squaring okay we need to do squaring okay this the whole square okay let's consider a b c d the whole square means what we'll get this square plus this square plus this square plus this square okay and then we have twice this into this, twice this into this, this into this. But remember over here, limit is from 0 to pi, okay, 0 to pi for sine, okay. If it is comes sine, differentiation of cos is sine, sine of either 0 or sine of pi is always 0, okay. So now, what about this, let's see this down, I will we'll start writing over here. This minus 1, the whole square is 1, okay. So, integral of 1 dx 0 to pi become we have pi okay we have pi so we have pi over here plus this is square okay here we have this square is what we have integral 2 to the 4 i will take 4 outside cos of square 8x dx what is cos square x here we have cos square x equals to 0 to pi here 1 plus cos of 2x upon 2 okay here we have 2 so e is equals to 1 by 4 by 2 integral 1 plus cos of 16x 0 to pi so here we'll get 2 here here we'll have integration of cos is sine sine of 0 to pi become become 0 okay so here we'll get we'll have only pi okay so we have 2 pi here also we have 2 pi okay this the whole square minus 1 whole square is we have pi okay here we have 2 pi this whole square here we have 2 pi here also we have 2 pi okay 2 pi 3 means 2 pi plus 2 pi plus 2 pi okay what about twice this into this okay when you multiply this into this you have cos of 8x okay integration of cos of 8x is become sine sine of 0 to pi become sine 0 0 sine pi also become 0 even if you multiply this into this also we have cos of we have cos of a into cos of b equals to 1 by 2 cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b okay 
Now multiplication of this into this also you have cos of this. Okay, you have cos. So integration of cos becomes sine. Therefore, everything will become zero. This also this into this becomes zero. This into this everything will become zero. Okay, so we'll have only this. This equals to seven pi. Okay, so this is the required answer.